side. Throttle the motor. Already? They're ready to come up now. Is the detonator all connected speed? Yes, sir. All right, stand by. We'll bring them on board. Stand still, everybody. We're taking this ship over. Now, get in that cabin. Everybody, come on. I wonder why they don't take us up. Call them again. Hello, Alice. Something's happened. There's a lot of noise on deck. So don't use that gun. What could have happened? I'm afraid Dr. Satan's going to attack the boat. Quick, hoist that diving chamber. We're moving. I don't know. That was a terrific explosion. There it is. It's been damaged, but they may be all right. That's enough. explosion wrecked the control tube in the yacht? I'm sure it did. The yacht must have been blown to bits. And that was the only tube left? Yes. Only Scott knows how to make another. My mechanical men are perfect, with one exception. A remote control device which will permit me to direct him from a distance. Scott has perfected such a device. And I must have it. Too bad we didn't catch a Scott instead of his young friend. Hmm. Perhaps the young man will serve our purpose just as well. Bring him in.
Remember Dr. Satan's orders. What's the matter? Are you ill? Martin is all right, Mr. Scott. Everyone stay just where you are. This is Dr. Satan speaking. Mr. Martin has been given a drug which puts him completely under my control. I've sent him to request a favor of you. Why? Why, this is preposterous. Do you expect to frighten me with a drug man and a portable radio? There's more than that, Mr. Scott. Martin also carries a very deadly bomb which I can set off at any moment. Stay in front of him at all times, so I can watch your every move. Unless you wish to cause the death of everyone in the room, you must obey me implicitly. What's the matter, Mr. Scott? Don't you hear me? Yes, I hear you. What do you want me to do? You are to come with Martin to my headquarters and give me instructions for making your remote control device. Well, what is your decision? I... I suppose I must do what you tell me. But I must get my formula and notes from the safe. Very well, but hurry. There's nothing I can do here, but if the electric power were cut off, Dr. Satan's control board would go out and he couldn't set up his bomb. Why, that's impossible. Think of the consequences. People trapped in elevators, traffic stall, lights out in operating rooms. It would be a catastrophe to the whole city. It'll be a catastrophe to the whole nation if Dr. Satan succeeds with his plans. We've got to stop him. I guess you're right, Bob. I'll arrange with the power company at once. Stay by the phone. I'll call you back. You are too slow, Mr. Scott. I missed the combination. I have to start over again. Yes? They'll do it. They'll cut the power off, but only for 30 seconds, starting at exactly 10 minutes after 3. Now remember, it's only for 30 seconds. Thanks. That's long enough. What are you doing now? I'm looking for the papers I need. Never mind that. Bring them all and start at once. Walk just ahead of Martin, Mr. Scott. Not too far ahead. Not too fast. Faster, Mr. Scott, faster. Scott, if you value your life. Look out, speed! Bob, aren't you taking off a chance? No, I had the electric power turned off for 30 seconds. Hurry, boy, hurry. Come on. Speed. Speed. Hold it. Don't try it. All right, get his gun.
mind him. Scott's the only one we want. Take him along. They took my truck and headed up the road. We've called the police, but... Open that tank valve! 